Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to talk about the importance of walking and specifically how it relates to trying to lose weight or to lose body fat. So let's go on this short journey and I'll talk about the benefits of how to do it and what you need to know. And if it's news to you and it's, you find this video helpful, don't forget thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell as well. And that way you'll hear about my other videos as they come out. That way you don't miss one. All right, so let's get going. Okay, I'm not currently walking because I'm talking to you guys right now. And so one of the benefits of walking that I wanted to definitely touch on is the fact that most of us have been doing it since we were a year old or a little bit before that or maybe a little bit after that but the point of it is that we've got lots and lots of practice doing it so even if your gait's slightly messed up due to an injury or something like that in general walking is very healthy because it doesn't have the wear and tear on your body now granted like i said if you have an orthopedic issue or you're morbidly obese or have some kind of issue that's going to hinder your ability to walk and do it safely uh, then that could be an issue but if you don't have that issue and you're healthy or at least relatively healthy then it's a great safe enjoyable activity that will burn calories and also be safe and I'll get more into the safety factor or that part of my point of this video uh, a little bit later on in the video now another reason why uh, walking I think is preferable compared to other forms of exercise is simply because it's once again easier on the body now CrossFit athletes look great they have low body fat however it puts a lot of stress on your body and most top CrossFit athletes are a lot younger than I am I'm going on 48 so I still have to be paying attention to my joints my health and well-being I mean it's all great to be able to do that kind of thing but if I get hurt doing it and then I can't exercise then that doesn't do me much good burning calories I have to be moving so exercising a lot via walking is a great way to get that calorie burn without all the wear and tear on my body another good thing about walking not all walking is created equal you see some people walking real slow at the mall, or at least pre-pandemic. Well, it's still a good exercise, but it takes a long time to really burn any amount of calories if you don't put much effort into it. However, if you walk like you really mean it, like you have purpose, like you are trying to go somewhere, it burns quite a few calories because it could still get you in your heart rate zone, and therefore you're gonna be burning more calories and more body fat. Another good thing about walking compared to running, I live here in North Florida. Right now it's about 92 degrees. Since I'm in the shade, it could be 91, <laughs> but it's hot. And uh, just wearing a short sent t-shirt, but it's very, very warm. Fortunately, I'm not getting eaten up by mosquitoes, all this rain, a lot of still water. So I'm good to go, no mosquitoes getting crushing me. But if I were to try to exercise hard in this temperature, obviously I wouldn't be doing that. I'd go indoors and work out hard, which I still do. There's a time and place for that. But uh, outdoors in Florida in August is super hot. Walking is about the most strenuous outdoor activity I wanna do now. But like I said, it's a great exercise. It's much, much easier on the body and uh, yeah, good for the mind and soul too. One of the other benefits of walking is simply the fact that, besides the fact that it's easy on the body, at least for most of us, uh, it's another great way to clear your mind. Not just to uh, contemplate life, but like other forms of exercise, it's a great stress reliever. And that's important because if you relieve stress, you also, in theory, and for most people, you will reduce uh, your cortisol levels. And cortisol is one of those stress hormones 
that makes your body want to store body fat. The higher your cortisone level, the more you want to store. So if you can get moving and walking and thinking and clearing your head, you will have less opportunity to store body fat. And now, of course, if you eat too many calories and that kind of thing, it really doesn't matter if your cortisol level is high or low, you're gonna have trouble not storing body fat. So you gotta keep your calories in check. And just overall, you know, good attitude. So I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's getting a little gray. Uh, of course you can't hear the gray, but what I mean is it's getting gray and it's starting to thunder. Here in Florida, that usually means thunder, not necessarily lightning, but it's gonna rain. And recently it has rained a lot. So I don't wanna get soaked in this. So that's one of the bad things about walking outside, but that's why treadmill walking can be good in a situation like this, because that way you could get your exercise in, once again, safely, as I always preach, because the older I get, the more important that becomes and it's also what I tell my clients since a huge majority of my clients are older than me I do have some that are younger but it's a really important aspect of your health and well-being taking care of yourself since nobody else can do it for you you got to do it on your own so I just finished my walk it's starting to thunder a little bit more hope you liked the video uh, if you have any questions or uh, tell me where you like to walk either on a treadmill, if you prefer that, or any place where you live that's very scenic and that you enjoy doing it. Um, once again, it's a great activity. Uh, I'm walking today by myself because I got off work early. My wife's still at work. But it's also a lot of fun to walk with her as well. Chit chat, that helps the time pass by. And her, her short little legs like to go, go, go. So trying to keep up with her definitely keeps my heart rate going. So once again, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day.